Hi everyone, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Ovi, I'm a first year medical student, and welcome to Ovi Med. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my personal challenges that I have faced as part of being an international medical student from North America to Europe, more specifically from Canada to Ireland. But before we get into that, just want to wish you guys a happy new year. I hope that this year is going to be better than last one. And let's cross our fingers and hope that the vaccines are going to come by quickly and that they're just as effective on the new strain so that everything can go back to normal. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing on the list is language barrier and culture shock. So in my case, uh, there wasn't any language barrier since uh, in Ireland, the official language is English. So it wasn't really any problem with that. However, they have different expressions, words they pronounce differently, different accents on some words, uh, words that, they're, that are being used differently. Uh, for example, they always say like, oh, that's grand. Like, oh, something grand. And that means like, okay, or it's good, like all good, you know? Whereas here would say like, okay, great. Or they would say, oh, that's grand. So that's just an example that I've noticed personally, because at first I was like, what grant? Like research grant? Like what, what grant, you know? But anyways, but then obviously new country, new city, new people, um, you don't know anyone, new stores, you don't know what is what, you don't know what's a grocery store, you don't know what's a convenience store, you don't know uh, what the pharmacies are called, you don't know, um, you don't know anything basically. So um, let me just give you a quick example on the groceries. Even if you figure out and you find out what the grocery store is called, uh, the products are going to be different in every single store. So like, for example, myself, uh, something that I've been looking for and that I didn't find yet for the past three months that I've been there is pasta sauce with meat, spaghetti sauce with meat. I didn't find any. So in here, you can find that even at the convenience store, you know, it's like every, all over the place. But in Ireland, I did not find any store that has spaghetti sauce with meat, like, you know, minced beef inside, like nothing. So if any of you is from Dublin, please let me know if you know of a store that sells spaghetti sauce with meat inside and comment it down below or uh, send me a DM on Instagram. I don't care. By the way, my Instagram is at ov.med. So please go follow me on that. But yeah, that's just uh, a specific example of things that you you might take for granted here, but over there is like completely different. All right, and then moving to point number two, you're gonna be on your own. You're gonna be alone. You're gonna be in a new city, new country, new whatever. You're not gonna know anyone. So that means you're gonna have to find an apartment by yourself uh, in your new city. You might not know how the system works or uh, renting or whatever works. So you're gonna have to figure that out. Uh, then in terms of uh, responsibilities, we're gonna have way more. You have to do the cooking, uh, the laundry, the cleaning, whereas usually these tasks would be shared with other members of your household or if you're very lucky, uh, someone can do them for you or help you with. So uh, you're not gonna have that, you're gonna have to account you know, for that in your schedule. So that means you're gonna have to improve in your time management skills and, you know, or cooking skills even, or, or, you know, whatever. And then last but not least, you're gonna be homesick. This is something that I've underestimated a lot. Uh, obviously it's gonna depend on every single person, how you deal with it and what you do and how much it's gonna affect you. Um, obviously, if you come from a family where uh, you're all very close, you always eat dinner uh, and lunch together and, you know, you do activities, you go out, and you know, you just see friends and family obviously might affect you a little bit more since you're gonna lose that, you know, that presence. Um, but being an international student is definitely bringing another challenge to the table since, you know, if let's say you're in your home country and you're just studying in a different city, well, that's fine. You can just come back during the weekends and you know, like you take a plane or a car and whatever. But if you're an international student, that's, not as easy to do, you know, especially if you're in Europe and you want to go back to North America, that's not really something you can do in just like a short weekend. It's, it's not worth it. Like, yeah, it's not something that you have, but yeah, being homesick is something that you have to deal with. Um, I did definitely underestimate uh, what it's going to be like. I was like, oh, okay, big deal. I'm going to be alone in a different country. So what? Like I'm used to being alone and you know what I'm studying and whatever, but like, 
through FaceTime, it's not the same thing as having like that in-person contact. And especially with COVID-19, that didn't help at all since, you know, it's a lot harder to make new friends and meet other international students who you can relate to, you know, so yeah. All right, then moving on to the next challenge, time difference, different time zones. This is my major factor that makes it really annoying because first of all, jet lag. Um, I don't know how you guys deal with jet lag, but for me, for like a whole week, I'm like a zombie. It takes uh, quite a while, except when I'm going uh, out in the sun and I'm doing a lot of activities, but you know, Ireland and North America are not exactly the best places for sun, especially around like winter. So yeah, that's that. And then time differences also bring other challenges of, you know, speaking with people back home. Luckily, between North America and Ireland, between Canada and Ireland, there's not that big of a difference. It's only five hours from Montreal. So uh, it's not that bad, you know, in the morning uh, I'm alone, but then they wake up uh, around like noon or one. And then when I'm going to bed, um, they're having lunch. So. It's not that bad, but yeah, time difference is definitely something that brings challenges to maintain those conversations with people back home. The next challenge that you're gonna be facing is administrative work. You're gonna have a lot of paperwork to do. You're gonna have to find health insurance because you're going to a new country. You might need a visa. Um, if you stay more than 90 days, it depends like on where you go and what you do. But you know, that depends, you know, it's like case by case, so. You can't really generalize, but yeah, visas, paperwork, insurance, like a lot of stuff that you might have taken for granted in your like home state or home country. But yeah, if you're going abroad, you're going to have to do some paperwork. That's for sure. And same thing when you come back. So yeah. And then last but not least, it's expensive. It's really expensive. So I think I'm going to make another video on like the expenses of my first year of medical school, for example, uh, when I finish my first year and like take a look at the, of my finances. but. Um, just my school, okay, for example, costs 41,000 euros for a year. So, yeah, I don't know what your currency are and where you are in the world, but 41,000 euros is pretty expensive. And I'm from Canada and the Canadian dollar is lower than euro. So that comes around $65,000. So, I mean, you're probably gonna need bank loans or something because money doesn't grow on trees and you gotta pay for it, so, yeah. And then you have travel expenses. Of course, if you're traveling from North America to Europe, it's gonna be expensive. It's gonna be uh, a lot of airplane tickets going back and forth uh, for the holidays or if you have uh, like a week off or something, if you can. Uh, But yeah, travel expenses, they kind of like stack up pretty quickly. Um, And then something that I mentioned uh, a few minutes ago, currency. Uh, if your currency is lower, you gotta take that into account when you're looking at the prices. Prices might seem low, but if you compare them to what you have back home uh, with the currency, they might be double the price. <laughs> be careful about that. Um, something that I find uh, really nice in Ireland is that the tax is included in the price. So the price you see is the price you pay. So this is really cool. You only don't have to do all these like calculations in your head of like how much tax you're gonna have to pay on top. You know, whereas here in Canada, uh, at least in Quebec where I live, the tax is not included. So you always have like a fee that adds on top of all the prices that you see. And it's like on the on the whole thing. So yeah, you gotta calculate for that. But in Ireland, you don't have to do that. So yeah, that's great. All right, so that was my own personal challenges that I've seen that I've faced uh, during my semester that I had. Uh, obviously you can generalize that to every single person and every single country or exchange that you're gonna do. Um, so yeah, on that note, I think I'm going to go study because I have my exams in less than two weeks. My first exam is on January the 12th. So yeah, I'm going to go studying because there's a lot of material and a lot of things that I need to do. Um, if you didn't see my previous videos, I'm going to link them right here. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, please do so. Um, please follow me on Instagram at ov.med and see you in the next video.